Hey everyone, Micah here with ebikeschool.com and today we're going to talk about UL listing and why it's important for your ebikes if you want a safe and long-lasting e-bike. Now I've got the Velotrek Fold 1 electric bike here. I chose it for this video because Velotrek has long held a really high importance for UL certification with all of their bikes and this one is a great example. And by the way, like all of my videos, I will be giving away a free e-bike at the end of this one as part of my e-bikes for good program. This time it will be this bike, the Velotrek Fold 1. So huge thanks to the company for helping me to give away an e-bike to someone in need. All right, now let's talk about UL listing. First of all, what is UL? Well, UL stands for Underwriter Laboratories. It's a very old standards organization in the US. It's over 100 years old. And basically, they've created a number of standards for all sorts of products, not just electronics, but it is a big part of what they do. They both set standards and they have a testing component of their organization that will test various components to make sure they're in compliance with those standards. And the whole point is to make sure the products being sold to consumers are safe and reliable and are not gonna cause problems or injure somebody down the road. So obviously when you're talking about what is effectively a form of vehicle, an electric bicycle, it is very important that these things are built safe and to proper standards. For many years, there wasn't a lot of standard adherence in the industry. You know, things were a little bit, you know, willy nilly with uh, various companies sort of uh, creating their own standards or testing to other various international standards. But in the last few years, there's been a big push towards using UL standards in the United States for electric bicycles. Now, if you check the UL certification sticker on an electric bike that is UL certified, like here on the Fold 1, you'll find it on the down tube coming down from the headset here, you'll see a number and a certification. Usually it's printed on some sort of holographic sticker so that it's harder to counterfeit these things. And that'll tell you which standards are uh, applied on this bike and the UL certification number. This is something you can actually look up in UL's database. You can see if a bike really is UL listed. Now there are two different UL certifications that really apply to electric bikes right now. The first is UL 2849, and this is a standard that applies to the entire bike's uh, electrical system. So everything from the wiring to the battery, the motor controller, it tests for you know electrical shorts, uh, shocks, thermal response, that sort of thing, to make sure that everything is playing nicely and can perform in a variety of environments without creating a dangerous situation. The second standard that's important is UL 2271, and this one applies specifically to lithium batteries. It's designed to make sure the battery specifically is built to a series of standards. Again, it applies to things like uh, you know thermal shock, impact loading, water resistance. That's a huge one because when water, especially salty water, gets into an e-bike, it can wreak havoc. And so all of these different standards and tests are in place to make sure these batteries are compliant and built safely. If we come over here and we pull this battery out, You'll see this battery also has a UL certified label on it to let you know that the battery itself is UL certified. And again, you can look all this stuff up in UL's databases to make sure that these things do actually appear there and they have been certified. And confirming UL certification is actually really important because just because something says UL on it or a website says that this is you know UL compliant doesn't necessarily mean the same thing. You'll see different terms out there. Some uh, e-bike websites will say UL certified, some will say UL listed, some will say uh, uh, compliant to UL. Some will just say certified. And so let's talk a second about what all of this means to break it down. Now sort of the gold standard is UL listed or UL certified. This means that underwriter laboratories themselves or a third party inspection service that works with UL and is um, affiliated with the UL or has passed their standards has actually inspected and tested the component to make sure that it is compliant with all of UL's standards. If they do that and it passes, then you'll see that it's actually UL listed or UL certified. It will appear in their database and you get that nice pretty uh, holographic sticker on the bike like you can see here. Like I said, this is the gold standard. It means that UL itself has done the testing and so you know that this is safe and UL certified. Now there are other standards testing organizations out there that will test two UL standards. So for example, uh, SGS is one of the big ones. There are many other international laboratories that will do this testing. And so sometimes you'll see companies saying that their uh, e-bikes or their batteries are UL compliant. And while these terms can vary depending how the company is using that, 
Generally, what that will mean is that the e-bike company hasn't actually had the components inspected by UL, but by some other certification program or certification company, and they test to see that it does meet the standards and the rules set by UL. This can still be all right, you know, if it is a legitimate uh, authorized or um, highly respected standards testing organization, that is okay. Obviously, UL is not the only standards testing organization out there. The issue is that sometimes when companies say that something is UL compliant and it hasn't actually been verified by UL, it's just been supposedly tested by someone, you don't always have all the information. So in that case, it's probably a good idea to follow up with the company and find out who exactly did the testing. You know, what are their qualifications? Is this a real standards and testing laboratory or is this one of these places that you can just sort of pay and you get a certificate? Unfortunately, there are a number of these sort of scammy certification laboratories out there. Um, you'll find a lot of them in China, unfortunately, where basically, you know, you pay a fee and you get a certificate that says, oh yeah, this is, you know, UN 38.3, or this is UL listed, or this is, you know, um, German standard, this or that, or whatever. So you do want to be able to confirm who actually did this testing and not just say, oh, okay, like, you know, the site says UL compliance, that's probably fine. That's one of the reasons that for me, I'm always looking for that actual UL sticker on the bike itself because then I know it's got you know, a UL number on it, I can look it up, I can verify. This has gone through all the proper testing channels and I know this is the real deal. Of course, Velotrick is not the only company that does this, it's just that they started very early and on all other bikes you're gonna find this and so that has always impressed me, uh, especially just you know, how quickly they got into this before so many other companies were even considering UL listing. Now, is being UL compliant a requirement? In most places, no. Even in the US, there are still you know, various levels of requirements for different cities or states. For example, New York City last year passed an ordinance saying that e-bikes sold there had to be UL certified. Most cities and states don't have a requirement yet. Some individual uh, college campuses or some um, specific you know, buildings or government buildings, this or that, will have different rules or regulations on whether or not bikes require UL certification. At this point, it is becoming so much more common that it's just generally recommended that you go this way. And of course, there's the, the safety and the peace of mind that comes with it. You know, Knowing that it's gone through all these standards and tests and practices and that sort of thing to produce, manufacture, and build what is a safe and reliable product. I mean, that should be something that we all want, right? Now, of course, this does add a little bit of cost. You have to pay to get the certification, not to mention, you know, paying to actually design and build these bikes to a higher standard to make sure you'll pass the certification. So it does add cost to the bikes, and it's why it took many years for this to become so common. But I think for most of us, having that extra peace of mind and knowing that, you know, the battery that I'm charging in my apartment or the bike that I'm riding at, you know, 20 or 28 miles an hour down the road is built safely and is going to take care of me and my family for many years to come. Now we are at my favorite part of all of my videos. This is the e-bikes for good segment where I give away an e-bike to someone in need. Someone out there right now, maybe you watching this video, who needs an e-bike to get around, who needs it as a way of transportation, you don't have a car, there's not good buses in your city, that sort of thing, but you just can't afford an e-bike, it's just outside of your reach, listen up because this is for you. I feel so strongly that e-bikes can change people's lives that I've started this program to give away a free e-bike to someone who needs it. A huge thank you to Velotrick for helping me sponsor the giveaway in this video where we will be giving away a Velotrick Fold 1. This is an awesome electric bike. I love this thing for all sorts of commuting needs. It is your prototypical 20 inch fat tire folding electric bike, but it's got so much more than that. One of the things that I love about it is not just how easy it is to fold, but the fact that the battery is removable before you fold it so you can take it out. It makes the bike lighter when you're lifting it into a vehicle, that sort of thing. On top of that, it checks all of my boxes for the things I wanna see. It's got those hydraulic disc brakes, it's got suspension, it's comfortable to pedal. It's surprisingly lightweight. It's something like 66 or 68 pounds, something like that, which I know sounds like a lot, but in the world of folding bikes, it's actually lighter than a lot of them out there. I'm also a huge fan of this tire size. These aren't full fat tires. They're 20 by three inch instead of four inch. And to me, that just makes them a little bit more nimble, a little easier to wiggle around in tight urban settings, but you still get a wide enough tire that you can go off road and you can hit potholes and curbs and that sort of thing and get more of that cushion under you. Of course, you got the suspension fork as well to help absorb those bumps, but having more cushion in the tires just makes a big difference. So I think this is an awesome e-bike for someone out there. Now, how is this giveaway going to work? 
If this sounds like something that could help you, but it's just outside of your reach financially, I want you to head on over to ebikeschool.com slash ebikesforgood. The URL is down here somewhere. There's an entry form there. There's nothing you need to pay. You don't have to sign up for anything. All you have to do is fill out that form. It's totally free. And at the end of my next video, there will be a randomly selected winner from the deserving entrance to win this bike, the Bellatrix Fold 1. So I will be super excited to get the bike out to someone. If it sounds like it could help you, make sure you head on over to ebikeschool.com slash ebikesforgood, fill out the form, and let's see if it can be you. Now it's time to announce the winner of the bike from my last video. And the randomly selected deserving entrant is... Charles M. So congratulations, we're gonna get that bike out to you ASAP. I know you're gonna love riding around on it. And everybody else, if you wanna be riding around on this Fold 1, make sure you fill out that form. Let's see if we can make it you next time. Last but not least, before we go, it is time to give away a free copy of one of my books to a random commenter. And the randomly selected commenter from my last video is... eCypher. So congratulations, just let me know which one of my books you'd like. You can choose from DIY Lithium Batteries, DIY Solar Power, The Ultimate Do-It-Yourself E-Bike Guide, or my latest book, The Electric Bike Manifesto. And anybody else who wants a chance to win one of my books for free, all you gotta do is put a comment down below this video. You can say anything you'd like, and hopefully you'll be the randomly selected commenter at the end of my next video. If you don't wanna wait that long to hopefully win a copy of one of my books for free, you can always find them on Amazon. All right, thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you here next time.